going to cut this bacon. I am going to use the whole pack. I love a lot of bacon in this salad. I'm just going to cut it into bite-sized pieces. If you want to do this in the air fryer, you can. Whatever makes it easy for you. I am going to render the fat on the stove on a skillet. Okay, so I'm just going to take my skillet. I'm going to pour the bacon in there and I'm going to cook this down. And then we're going to continue cutting the vegetables for the salad. Okay, we're just going to render the fat. Make sure to drain it as you go so that your bacon gets real crispy. We still have a little bit to go with this. I just like to break it up. Alrighty, I have a pretty good sized bowl. I'm going to use, I've already washed the broccoli. Let, just let it air dry. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the base of this just to make it easier to get into the stems. I don't like to have big pieces. I'll show you here in a minute how I like to cut my broccoli. Let me move this aside. Okay, so what I do is I like to cut the broccoli into much smaller pieces. I do not like big chunks. So I like to cut them about this size right here. And then I just start throwing them into the bowl. Alright, we're done with this part. Okay, our bacon is ready. I drained off the grease. I'm going to transfer you back over to the counter. Alright, I'm just going to cut um, half of a purple onion. If you want to use white, you could. Whatever your family likes. I just like it for the colors. We're going to add this to our broccoli. So we have it just like that. And then I'm going to take some sunflower seeds. You can use sunflower seeds or pine nuts, whatever you prefer. I don't mind the, the sunflower seeds. I think they're delicious. So we're going to add those. Okay, and then I'm going to add our bacon. So this is what we got. Broccoli, bacon, onion, and sunflower seeds. Now we're going to add in our dressing. First I'm going to sprinkle it with a whole lot of ground pepper. Okay, and then I'm going to add in the juice of half of a lemon. This is a nice fat juicy lemon. Okay, now for the dressing part of it, we're going to add a cup of sour cream and a cup of mayonnaise. Or I pretty much eyeball it at this point. And then what I do is I take a packet of ranch dressing mix or dip mix. We're going to sprinkle it in there. Just about more, a little bit more than half. Not all of it, because that's too much for this amount. And then we're just going to mix it in. Okay, we're going to mix everything up. Okay, we're going to add the cheese. It's a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. You can add whatever cheese you like. Okay, now we're just going to add in our salad dressing. After you mix it, you want to taste it to see if it needs a little bit of salt, but I don't think so because uh, the ranch dip mix is pretty salty, but it's up to you. You adjust it to how you like it. Now I'm just going to transfer it over to my serving bowl. And there we go. I'm going to cover it up with some plastic and put it in the refrigerator for at least four hours and then we'll give it a taste, guys. Look at how simple and delicious that is. And I've already tasted it. It is very good. Okay, everybody, we're back with the salad. It was in the refrigerator for a few hours. It's pretty late in the evening now, but here it is. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up so that you can see. It looks very good. I know it's good because I've already tasted it, but we're going to give it another taste here. You know, the time actually gives the dressing a time to get into those, incorporate the flavors into everything that you have going on in here. So you really want to be patient with it and give it that time. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. You can taste the bacon, the broccoli, everything is real fresh. The salad dressing is real creamy, real tasty guys. I hope you give this a try. It's really very, very good. 
I really do hope you give that a try. If you do and like it, come back and let people know in the comments, you know, what you think of the recipe. People appreciate that. Okay, that's going to conclude the video for today, guys. Don't forget, big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And most importantly, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And I will have the recipe listed down below and any items I may have used. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I will get back with you. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.